Daddy, what is this? I asked my father, who was seated on his bed, looking at a photo album. What is what? He asked me, reaching for a small leather box that was in my hands, which had a silver medal on the inside that was attached to a white and blue ribbon. For a minute, I was a little lost. But once I saw the USA Air Force symbol sewed on the top, I knew what it was. He leaned in closer to take a better look at the medal. He took one glance and his face fell to a small, almost shy grin. Oh, that, my father said. That's nothing important. Was this from your military days? I asked my father, clearing knowing the answer. His dark mahogany brown eyes met mine and nodded. My father has always given me very vague descriptions of his days in the Air Force. I decided to take the opportunity and try to get as much information from him. How was it? I asked him. He gave me an awkward one-sided shrug. It felt like we had almost switched roles. I was the parent curious about her child's day, and he was a teenager who didn't feel like talking. It was nothing special. I didn't really do anything major. I just did everything I could to get past basic training, he said, flipping through the pages of his photo album. What did you learn? I asked him. Nothing, really. Just that some people can be very racist, he said. This whole new chapter of his life was new to me. I never knew that my father was a victim of racism, especially while part of something where most people are supposed to be well-educated, fine gentlemen. I still wonder if people are like this till today. A part of me doubts it and just wants to let the past be the past. His large hands pulled out a picture from the photo album. It was from the year 1994. In the picture, five young men, probably in their early 20s, stood in uniform pants and gray jersey short shirts. One of the men's faces stood out the most. He was a young man who looked like my father 20 years younger. Is this you, I asked him, studying the picture. He nodded his head. I could see from his eyes that this was from his Air Force days. I looked back at the shiny silver medal in my hands. Daddy, what did you earn this for? I asked him, shoving the medal in front of his face. I knew talking about the Air Force wasn't his favorite thing to talk about, but I was curious. This was an important part of his life. It isn't anything important like the Purple Heart. I think you get it after having a certain kind of behavior or over a certain amount of time, he responded. Then you must be pretty proud, I said. He gave me a small smile and took the leather box. <laughs> I know a lot of people who wanted this so bad, even if it really isn't something that important. I know people who weren't happy when I got this, and all those people had one thing in common. They were all racist. He explained, pulling the metal out of the box. Wah-ha-ha, <laughs> in their face, I said, trying to lighten the mood. And he laughed. Well, baby girl, he said, putting his arm around me, it isn't about rubbing it in people's faces. Rubbing your success is never the answer. Even if it feels so good, it's all about humility. Humility is the key to success. If you're not humble, at some point you're going to fall. But they deserve it, I told my father. He kissed the temple of my forehead and laughed. They sure did. And trust me, I wanted to pound my fist into some of them. But if I have, I would have never received this medal, he said. And not only would he have not received the medal, he would have never given me that talk. Suddenly, everything made sense to me. His way of thinking, his way of being, most importantly, his way of treating other people. Little things like this represent so many different things. Being humble shows who you are as a person, especially in a world or society like the one we live in today. Being humble may be hard, but it isn't impossible. I don't think my father would be where he is today if it weren't for that lesson. Humility is the key to success. I remember that conversation like it was yesterday. His words stuck with me forever and was one of the best pieces of advice anyone has ever given to me. My father believes that humility is the key to success. You want to know something interesting? 
I believe in that too.